Hey guys, I'm DJ Var, and today I just want to show you how you can uh, have up more than 12 return tracks in Ableton. So uh, the first thing you need to do, you, you need to uh, know, is that basically um, with Ableton Live Standard Edition and uh, Ableton Live uh, Suite, you can have up to 12 uh, return tracks. If you're instead um, using the intro version you can have up to two return tracks but for today i'm just going to talk about uh, ableton live standard and suite edition so uh, for example if you're using ableton for um, a live performance uh, stuff like you know live remixing like djing and stuff or for example if you're also using ableton as a um, production tool, you know, remixing, you know, as a studio tool, you may, um, yeah, in, in my opinion, 12 return tracks are pretty good enough to work, but if, for example, you really, really need um, more than 12 return tracks, well, there's a little trick you can do. So since uh, with Ableton uh, Live Standard and Suite, you can have um, up to infinite uh, MIDI and audio tracks, uh, you can um, uh, basically yeah, uh, take advantage of this to create, um, to create uh, you know, return tracks, you know, custom return tracks. Uh, so yeah, you can... Uh, basically have up to infinite uh, return tracks too and uh, i'm just going to show you this in just a second so the thing you want to do now is just go go ahead and create another um audio track so we, we're going to do that so command t if you're using mac to create another uh, audio track or if you're using windows you can uh, do Control t I'm just going to rename this track as, for example, I want to add um, a reverb on, uh, on, the, on, on the, you know, track I want to say. So, reverb. I, I, for example, if you look down here, I have deleted the, um, the two uh, reverb and delay return tracks. So, you, you really are sure uh, that you, uh, that I'm really using, uh, you know, other, I, I'm using the, um, the tracks, the audio tracks I'm generating right now in the arrangement, uh, in the mixer. So say I want to put, yeah, of course, a reverb down here. But of course, uh, yeah, we have to route the audio. Uh, and so we have to send the audio coming from this loop I have loaded down here um, to, the, to the return track. So for example, I have to open up my input output uh, menu and I have to route the audio coming from the breakbeat loop and say I have to to set the monitor to in and yeah leave the, um, the audio to master so right now I can close the input auto output menu and uh, yeah I, I have to use this mixer over here to uh, set up my uh, my effect so I can, for example, deactivate all this stuff down here. I can, yeah, I can, for example, uh, raise up the decay time to, for example, uh, 276, for example. And yeah, the dry wet I can really turn up. I can, I can basically choose two methods. Or I can, uh, yeah, use this mixer over here to, to, um, you know, to control the amount of uh, sends I'm uh, sending to, or I can use this dry wet over here of the effect itself. But for example, so say for example, uh, I have an effect loaded, which is which does not have a dry wet knob. So how how can I, I how can I do that? Well, it's very simple. You can just um, yeah go ahead over here and uh, use your mixer. Um, volume uh, to control the amount of uh, effects. Uh, so yeah, you can. Uh, I can show you very quickly. So I have this um, effect down here, 
and uh, as soon as I raise up the volume on the second on the second track I I created, uh, you were you will really hear um, a reverb incoming. So let's see. As you can uh, clearly hear, uh, there's a there's this effect going on over here. So, yeah, that's uh, that's how you can do. Um, the, uh, that's how you can generate uh, return tracks, custom return tracks, and and as I said before, you can have uh, as many as you want since you can have uh, infinite audio and MIDI tracks in Ableton Standard and Suite. So, um, for example, I can also, I don't know, you can uh, uh, set up, for example, a, uh, yeah, also like a filter. So you can uh, really create cool stuff down here. So I can uh, raise down the frequency, maybe uh, raise up a little bit the Q, which is the resonance. And, uh, yeah, say I want a low-pass filter, filter, and, um, yeah, so for example, you, you see this auto auto filter down here doesn't come with a dry wet um, knob. So uh, I will have to uh, use the mixer down here to regulate to, to control the um, the amount of uh, of sands I'm using. So for example, I can give it a try. Yeah, with um, with this technique, you can basically uh, uh, give more uh, interesting things to your, you know, loops, sounds, whatever. You can of course use uh, ping pong delays, simple delays, saturators. Like saturator is a pretty good, nice thing, uh, I, I guess. So I can uh, say I wanna this and using the dry wet and let's see was it basically uh, okay guys I hope you learned stuff and um, yeah if you have like uh, I don't know questions whatever uh, you can write down below in the comments uh, of course also in the description of the video you can find uh, all my links and stuff and um, yeah if you enjoyed this video you can leave a like and also don't forget to subscribe so you can um, have other, you know, you can be up to date to other videos I will, uh, I will upload. So thank you guys again, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.